Tamil Nadu has the highest debt among all Indian states. 8.33 lakh crore rupees. That's more than Maharashtra. That's more than Uttar Pradesh. That's more than West Bengal. That's more than any other state in the country. That sounds scary. The real way to understand debt isn't the total amount. The real way to understand is the debt to the GDP ratio. India's public debt to GDP ratio is a whopping 81.3 percentage. Tamil Nadu's debt to GDP ratio is just 26.4 percentage. Let's understand that. According to the National Statistical Office, the average income in India for the year 2024-25 is 1,14,710 rupees. In Tamil Nadu, the average income per individual per head is 1,96,309 rupees. That is 71% higher. Tamil Nadu is spending a bit too much on interest. About 17% of Tamil Nadu's revenue goes to interest. That's high. And it needs to be managed. Some schemes need better targeting and impact analysis. Debt should never be taken lightly. Big debt doesn't mean bad decisions. It depends on how much you earn, why you borrow, and what you build with it. Let me say it straight. Yes, Tamil Nadu has the highest debt among all Indian states. 8.33 lakh crore rupees. That's more than Maharashtra. That's more than Uttar Pradesh. That's more than West Bengal. That's more than any other state in the country. That sounds scary. But here's the thing. Numbers without context create fear, not understanding. So today, we are not going to react to headlines. We are going to look at the full picture with clarity, with data, and with logic. Imagine two people walking into a bank, one earning 25,000 rupees a month, the other earning 2.5 lakh rupees a month. Both apply for a 10 lakh rupees loan, same loan amount. But should they be treated the same? Obviously not. Debt isn't about how much you borrow. It's about how much you earn and what you are doing with the debt. That's the exact mistake we make when we talk about Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu's economy, the GSDP, is 30.97 lakh crore rupees. Tamil Nadu is the second largest economy in the country. Tamil Nadu contributes nearly 10%, the 10% of India's GDP. That's massive economic strength. But no one talks about that when they hear the word debt. The real way to understand debt isn't the total amount. The real way to understand is the debt to the GDP ratio. India's public debt to GDP ratio is a whopping 81.3 percentage. Tamil Nadu's debt to GDP ratio is just 26.4 percentage. Let's understand that. The national government, the union government is carrying three times more debt per rupee of income than Tamil Nadu. Yet somehow Tamil Nadu is painted as irresponsible. Let's break it down even further to the citizen level. According to the National Statistical Office, the average income in India for the year 2024-25 is 1,14,710 rupees. In Tamil Nadu, the average income per individual per head is 1,96,309 rupees. That is 
percent higher. So even at an individual level, Tamil Nadu earns more per person and has the economic capacity to manage its borrowing. This matters. Now let's ask, what is Tamil Nadu doing with its debt? Because not all borrowing are bad. Tamil Nadu is using it to build industrial corridors, to build green energy, to build infrastructure, to build metro rail networks, public hospitals, water and sanitation projects, education and skill training. This is not survival debt. This is growth capital. It's the difference between borrowing to pay bills and borrowing to build an asset. Now, let's be clear. This isn't a clean sheet. Tamil Nadu is spending a bit too much on interest. About 17% of Tamil Nadu's revenue goes to interest. That's high. And it needs to be managed. Some schemes need better targeting and impact analysis. Debt should never be taken lightly. But at least here, we are borrowing to create value and not borrowing to pay some bills and not borrowing to just win votes. Let me simplify this. India's total public debt as of today is 181.7 lakh crore rupees. Tamil Nadu's debt is 8.33 lakh crore rupees. India's debt to GDP ratio is 81.3%. Tamil Nadu is just at 26.4%. India's average income per citizen is 1.14 lakh rupees. Tamil Nadu's per average income is 1.96 lakh rupees. And in terms of total economic size, Tamil Nadu is the second largest economy in the country. This isn't guesswork. These are official numbers from the finance ministry and NSO. So yes, Tamil Nadu's debt is high, but its economic strength is higher. The debt is visible, but what's invisible is the discipline, the capacity and the purpose behind the debt. Big debt doesn't mean bad decisions. It depends on how much you earn, why you borrow and what you build with it. And on all these three counts, Tamil Nadu is not in crisis. I think it's clearly in control. And that's not politics. That's just the data. Thank you for watching.